Well, good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, April 27th. I'm Maggie Fleckno, and this is Houston Happens. Well, we come on the news with some breaking news, especially for the CW39 family. Jerry Springer has passed away at the age of 79. According to his rep, he was surrounded by family in Chicago and he was battling a brief illness. We, of course, will have more details over on our website, CW39.com. But from a personal note, and I was trying to find the picture and videos of us, he came in studio and I have to say, he truly was a delight and so down to earth. I really enjoyed enjoyed our time together and he will be missed. So for more on that, go over to our website, CW39.com. In other news, it's kind of a dreary day, right? But especially with that news, we also have some things to lift our spirits. So we actually have some amazing community events helping kids in our area. We also are talking about the sleep divorce trend for couples and so much more. So what do you say? Let's get this show started. Ready, set, draft. The countdown is on until the NFL draft kicks off today in Kansas City. And of course, we are focusing on those Houston Texans. They are scheduled to make 12 of the drafts, 259 picks, beginning with the number two selection of the first round tonight. Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, Anthony Richardson, and Will Levis are projected to go anywhere from the top five to top 15 picks in the draft. And the Houston Texans have a lot of big decisions to make. You all know that. So joining us now is our CW39, Seth Kovar, live from the Texans watch party. Seth, when's that kicking off? And what are all the deets? Maggie, the Houston Texans NFL Draft Watch Party gets started here at the Miller Outdoor Theater in Herman Park at 4 this afternoon with the draft itself starting at 7. It's pretty much been a Texans takeover around here. Decorations as far as the eye can see. Let's go ahead and give you a look around this area. From the moment you walk in, you'll be surrounded by Texans banners and decorations. And once the party starts, get ready for live performances by Slim Thug and other performers. Toro, the Texans mascot, who actually made an appearance at the CW39 studios earlier this month, will be here along with the Texans cheerleaders. Now, there is a VIP section with tickets priced at $175 a pop, but that's already sold out. And the built-in seats here are reserved for season ticket holders and other select people. But the lawn area is open to everyone, and that is free to get in. Of course, attending the draft in person in Kansas City is another option if you can get there in time. Texas superfan Toucan Dan is doing just that. Texas is going to do it, man. We got so many. We got a plethora of picks. We're going to make something happen, man. Let's go, Texas. Let's go, NFL. Let's go, Kansas City. Thank you for hosting us. Texans could use a lot of help, especially after winning only three games last season. Experts at ESPN think they'll go with quarterback C.J. Stroud out of Ohio State with the second overall pick. Now, I'll have the details for the Texans draft watch party on our website, CW39.com. So check that out if you want to come and watch the draft with some fellow Texans fans. Back to you, Maggie. As I know my dad would love a good old Buckeye here. All right, well, the NFL is drafting the next generation of players. Big brothers, big sisters, and the Houston Texans are calling for the next generation of positive mentors to inspire change in greater Houston. And I'm so excited because joining us with more on the BBBS Big Draft campaign is Pierce Bush, CEO of Big Brothers Big Sisters Lone Star. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you, Maggie. It's an honor to be here. It is a pleasure to have you. First of all, thank you for all that you are doing in the community. Community. Tell us a little bit about the organization. You started as a volunteer. I did. I started in 2009. Never dreamed that I would one day um, work for Big Brothers Big Sisters and then eventually become the CEO of a, an agency that um, serves about 2,000 kids here in Houston Jeez. with one to one volunteer mentors. But the mission, you know, it changed my life from the minute that I signed up. I got matched with a young man named Jalen who is now 20 years old. He was six at the time. Um, and through the program, I met another volunteer who became my wife. And so, you know, I'm a big brothers, big sisters, loyalist for life. I owe a lot to this mission. And like a lot of volunteers, when they sign up to help a kid, they quickly realize that they get way more out of it yeah. than they even put in. And, and, you know, it's just one of those truisms in life. And we get to see it again over 2000 times every year because there's, we're pulling out the best of Houston um, and to help kids. And tell us about this draft. I'm yeah. excited about what's going on tonight. Well, obviously, everybody's very curious to see what the Texans will do. Yeah, exactly. Um, but we're so grateful to the NFL and to the Houston Texans, who are great partners of ours, um, because they want to leverage 
the fact that they're drafting the next generation of NFL players to encourage uh, fans all across the country, but particularly here in Houston, to sign up for us. We have, we have 600 kids whose guardians have raised their hand and have said, my child could use a positive role model to defend their God-given potential. We particularly need men. And that's why the NFL um, you know, wanted to partner with us. A lot of the NFL fan base, of course, there's lots of women, but a lot of them are men. And they said, look, we're going to give you this platform so that we can draft the next generation of game-changing mentors, people that can step up to the plate and simply defend the God-given potential that exists in every single child in our community. We have a fundamental belief that you know, our mentors are not there to put into the kids something that isn't already there. Mm. And, um, and it's amazing what the power of a relationship can do. We have lots of stats. We are tracking, Maggie, if you don't mind me saying this, six years of data now, third party National Student Clearinghouse data that shows the effectiveness of our programs. 97.5% of our kids, this is all, right. I mean, the, the data is very consistent. When they graduate high school in our program, are enrolling in college, two year, four year, trade school, employed or enlisted in the military. So we are, we are, inherently defending the God-given potential, and it's good for everyone it when is. kids can reach their full potential in life. And we have, again, 600 kids here in the greater Houston area who are already waiting for that person to step up. And we hope that this big draft campaign brings some of those volunteers to the fold for us. So I'm motivated. You'd be an amazing head coach, by the way. Oh, <laughs> you get this God. team rallied for <laughs> sure. So where can we huddle up, if you will, and find out more about tonight or just getting involved, period? Yeah. So our website is obviously a great place, um, www.bbbstx.org, or just Google Big Brothers Big Sisters of Greater Houston, and we'll take you right to our page. Um, our staff will make the process fairly easy, because yeah. um, again, we need we need particularly men to step up to the. I should do a football analogy since it's a big draft. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Stepped up to the to the one yard line and cross the threshold and come volunteer with us uh, uh, because again our kids need it and there's a there's a demand for what for what our programs are offering here in Houston and so and it's life changing for these kids but also for us too yeah, like you totally. said so 600 kids let that stick with you in the meantime though we're gonna have all this details over on our website cw39.com it was a pleasure having you and thank please you, come Maddie. back on thank you so I really much. enjoyed it and stay tuned we're throwing you to break but don't go anywhere we have more Houston happens afterwards you can't escape justice she was gonna get me what'd you do I hear <laughs> Judge Mattis. Next on CW39 Houston. The fresh timer starts the minute a tomato gets picked. That's why at Kroger, we shorten the time from harvest to home. So no matter how you shop, you'll have more time to enjoy your fresh produce. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Tonight on Cuomo. My Pillow CEO Mike Lindell goes one-on-one -on -one with Chris. From the Tucker Carlson fallout to the legal wrangling over his election challenges, it's a can't-miss interview. Tonight on Cuomo, only on News Nation. Anyway! 104.1 KRBE. Home of the Ruland Riot Show, morning 6 to 10. This is where Houston's hit music lives. So, play KRBE. Houston's number one hit music station, 104.1 KRBE. If you're not 100% sure you're getting 100% of the Medicare benefits you deserve, Kelsey Care Advantage, Houston's fastest growing Medicare Advantage plan, is here to help with a free Medicare plan checkup. Call now to speak with one of our Houston-based Medicare specialists. We'll help determine your specific needs and ensure you are receiving all the Medicare benefits you qualify for, like a $500 flex card with extra money for glasses, contacts, or hearing aids, unlimited transportation to and from medical appointments, and over-the-counter allowances. Make sure you have all the coverage and benefits you really need with Texas' best Medicare Advantage plan. It's quick, easy, and there's no obligation. Best of all, if you switch to Kelsey Care Advantage, our five-star rating by Medicare means you can enroll year-round. So don't wait. Call for your free Medicare plan checkup today. 713-442-8511. That's 713-442-8511. Congratulations, Gina Spagnola, the 2023 Remarkable Woman of Houston. Thank you so much. I'm shocked. Yeah, here, you get to hold the big check. 
Remarkable Women, brought to you by these fine sponsors. When you download the Kroger app, you have easy access to savings every day and get personalized coupons sent straight to your phone. Save big today when you download the Kroger app. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Okay, so a bike built by a New York man is gaining a lot of buzz for its unique design. Casey Hudson joins us to ride into the story. This 22-year-old thrill seeker in Clifton Park is used to the attention. I drive by all these houses, everyone's like opening their curtains, running out the front door, the kids love it. His eight and a half foot tall bike is not just a big hit in the neighborhood, but also on social media. His videos riding the bike garnering millions of views on TikTok. We're chilling. Woo! Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah! Since he was a young boy, Eric has been a fan of anything on wheels. Safety first. I love working on cars, love working on motorcycles, all that kind of stuff. Ever since those Hot Wheels, ever since I got my hands on one of those, it's just been cars all my life. He designed and built the tall bike as his final project at the Modern Welding School in Schenectady. The number one question he gets asked is how do you get on it? It always involves a running start. Kind of like a rolling ladder with uneven rungs. <laughs> when he first started crunching the numbers to assemble his design, he ran into a snag. The cost. That's when a bike tech in Schenectady came to the rescue. He sent me a schematic of this monster clown bike, and I didn't need much convincing. I'm in. So we took him to the scrap pile, the boneyard, and he loaded his car up and the rest is history. The gears are already turning for his next design. <laughs> A tall tandem tricycle for him and his girlfriend, Scotland, to ride to their weekly ice cream trips to Stewart's. Did talk about a lot of plans to create the craziest things that I even have trouble wrapping my head around. Anything he needs, he knows where to find it. Like, I, I don't know, I guess it's an attention thing maybe. I don't really know what drives it. I just have this passion to like do something different, be that guy that everyone's like, whoa, like, how does he come up with these things? I mean, gives a whole new meaning to bicycle built for two for him and his girlfriend. Gotta love it. All right, so this next story, speaking of couples, in a world where getting a good night's sleep is becoming increasingly difficult, a new trend is emerging, sleep divorce. Our sister network, News Nation, has more. Our experience has been it's necessity. It's more necessity-based than this idea of we'd like to have separate bedrooms like you know people did in 1950s. I don't think it's bad anymore. Broker and real estate agent Steve and Lisa Snyder say couples are choosing to sleep apart from each other because of several factors. But sleep disorders, snoring, and the kids are the main issues. So if it's a newborn and the mom is breastfeeding, she's up all night, and if, if the dad is going to work, he's not going to sleep. So today, just get up and go into sleep in a separate bedroom. According to a Mattress Daily study, more than 30% of 3,000 participants across the nation would like to file for a sleep divorce. Are people embarrassed when they ask you for this type of home? Nobody's embarrassed for anything anymore. Nothing is embarrassing. If, you, if, no you, have, if embarrassing. you have seen what we see in real estate, no one is embarrassed. No one they have no shame embarrassed. anymore at all. A 2023 Sleep Foundation survey found nearly 53% of participants said sleep divorce improved the quality of their sleep. And those couples that could maintain sleeping apart throughout the night saw an average 37 minutes more sleep each night. For you to recognize that we need this because we really need sleep, whether it's kids, whether it's jobs, whether it's work, I actually think is, is quite an insightful way to say it. Like, in a house, what are you looking for? In an apartment, what are you looking for? And the fact that they're able to voice that and say this is important for us, I think is probably worth noting. I mean, I gotta bring in my girl Edo for this one because <laughs> we're both married moms. Um, I'm not hating it. I'm no. not, I, I'm sorry, honey. I know, Jeff, I love you, but you can visit. We can have a slumber <laughs> party, so I'm just kidding. But I mean, 37 more minutes of sleep? Uh, there, and then there's so many other benefits. Yeah. Uh, you get time to yourself to actually care about yourself. You get to actually pick what's on the TV. Like, I, I kind of do a semi, I'm semi-divorced. So you're, yeah, so yeah. how does this work? <laughs> So, okay, so we're in the double digits of marriage now, so we're pretty honest with each other, and yeah. I'm just like, I need a break, because you've got kids in your face all day, you've yeah. got work, you're just always on, and you just yeah. need that space I know. for your own mental health. 
I wore in uh, single digits. Yeah, we you, got married yeah. and then I got pregnant right away. <laughs> so, you know, I got two roommates that I love dearly, but I, I feel that. Sometimes I do need a, a, a moment by ourselves. <laughs> oh, 100%. And I wish we we had more conversations about this. So thank you, Maggie, for bringing it up because, I mean, what was it? 1800s people were in two separate bedrooms? Yeah, let's be. And, I mean, think you could decorate it the way you wanted to. That's exactly what that I was, was thinking. Just saying. I, I want your pink. <laughs> And make sure you always have a separate bathroom, though. We do have that. We do, too, and as that, well. I don't care. Leave the th seat up. I don't care what you do in there. It's not Hair my business. Sh shavings up in the sink? No, ma'am. That's in the other bathroom. Exactly. <laughs> well, what's going on with this weather, girl? All right, so it is starting to clear up. So here's a look at our time lapse from downtown Houston. I'm going to put this into motion. You see the clouds rolling through a few drops there on the lens. We did have those showers come in. They were strong at times, but as we move into the midday hours, we are going to start to see a little more sunshine. All right, so if you're heading out the door in a little bit, we've got 60s on the board, so I don't blame you if you want a card again, especially with all the clouds, but we'll be able to ditch that soon because take a look at our satellite and radar. Here are the showers. They're pushing off the coastline. They're going to continue to move on out of here. And then as we head into later on this afternoon, we're going to start to see some sunshine too. So I'm loving that for the after school playground action. By 9 p.m. tonight, clear skies, which means it's going to be cool tomorrow morning. But I do want to point out if you do have plans Friday night, look at that. We have a line of showers that just pop up. And those are going to be rolling through the area Friday night into Saturday morning, but they're not going to be like blowout storms because check this out. As I put this into motion, they're breaking up. There's nothing going to be like really punching us in the face, I guess, into the uh, evening hours of Friday into Saturday morning. So aggressive with that forecast. Punch I, it up. <laughs> I'm just I don't know why things come out of my mouth sometimes. I love it. That's why you're part of the show. <laughs> this is why we're friends. All right, so you know I'm still salty about about this bed bath and beyond they've thrown in the towel still crying over my coupons yep still upset about it the container store will now accept bed bath and beyond coupons through may say what jane king is at the nasdaq with that story more in today's texas business report Hello, Texas. If you've still got a Bed Bath & Beyond coupon, you may be in luck. Texas-based Container Store is offering a 20% discount off any single item through the end of May for customers who bring a competitor's blue coupon to a store. Well, the Department of Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm says she supports requiring the U.S. military to implement an all-electric vehicle fleet by 2030. A fleet of electric vehicles for the military will reportedly cost billions of dollars. The Space Coast of Florida leads the nation in the percentage of workers with living wage jobs, while two West Texas regions lead the nation in functional unemployment, with one community approaching 50 percent, this according to the Ludwig Institute for Shared Economic Prosperity. Now, the South Texas McAllen Edinburgh Mission area had the highest percentage of workers unable to find a living wage job, and El Paso ranked among the highest for functional unemployment. Well, a new Texas power plant will bring 1.8 billion in economic activity and 7,000 jobs. The Bridge City plant is expected to produce about 1,200 megawatts of electricity, enough to power 27 Texas counties. From the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King with your Texas Business Report. Well, April is World Autism Month, an award-winning bar, Monkey's Tale, is serving up a cool event. I'm so excited it's happening this Saturday. It's hosting Autism Awareness Month, benefiting the Monarch School and Institute. And Stephen Strainy, thanks so much for waking up with us. Oh, no problem, thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit, you guys have been doing a fundraiser all month, but you're having a big event happening yes. this Saturday, so tell me more. So Saturday is the big blowout for the final day of uh, you know Autism Wear in this month, and we'll be having donations for our Aussie swimming pool cocktail here. This is clever. Talk a little bit about this, because I love the fact that there's this gummy that looks like a, a life It's saver. a little life preserver. Yeah. Um, so basically, it's blue is the uh, color for Autism Awareness Month, right. and it's going to be basically a uh, drink sponsored by Wadka, and all the proceeds are going to be donated that day. Okay, uh, and tell me about this a little cool also, beer. Also thing. some great things. Uh, St. Arnold and uh, Eureka Heights will be donating all the proceeds that we sell uh, for that as well. 
And you also told me you're going to have some churros and some yes. other things. So, so tell me out. Churros by Daniel. You used to do them at night shift. Uh, we'll be donating all the proceeds from that as well. Then we'll have tenfold coffee as well. And those both will be there from 11 to 3. Okay. We're also serving brunch and we'll have crawfish all the way till 10 p.m. Oh, this sounds like a party. And it's for such a great cause. Mm -hmm. And it's personal to you guys. So why did Definitely. you decide to get behind this? Well, we have some people in our family member from the Monkey's Tail team that have some... Uh, some family members uh, with autism and mm -hmm. so we just wanted to give back to uh, some sort of fundraiser that could help that out and also we do have DJs all the way from 12 to 9 p.m. Okay, I love this. You can mm -hmm. see here getting everything ready for the big event. Then we're going to have all of the details over on our website, CW39.com. So again, tell everybody where you're located exactly. So we're at 5802 Fulton Street, which is in Lindale Park. So you'd say north side, right at 610 and 45 north. Okay. And what's your favorite cocktail other than this one, would you say? Uh, the margarita. The margarita. Definitely. Oh, yes. we should have to go there then yes. for Cinco de Mayo. You guys oh, are yeah. busy. We're That's gonna have a huge up. event on Cinco de Mayo as well. You are. You know, mariachi, DJs, uh, different Cantorito bars, like you know, a whole burrito bar outside as well. And why is it so important for you guys to give back to the community in more ways than one? Well, it's always been you know a privilege for us to be able to do this, and so for Thanksgiving we always do some donations as well. Um, and we always try and give back to the community, especially when we're kind of a neighborhood bar. I love that. Serving up good drinks, cocktails, memories, and things for a good cause. So check it out. Again, we'll have all of the info on our website. Thanks so much. Thank you for having me. And stay tuned. We have plenty of Houston Happens after the break. Ready? It's happening right now at Rooms to Go. Pick from 100 beautiful rooms, each under $1,500. Picture it, your style, your budget, and interest-free financing. Save on rooms like this for $30 or less per month, $25 or less per month, $20 or less per month, interest-free for 50 months. 100 stylish options, each under $1,500. Furnish your home to perfection, now at Rooms to Go. This is how legends are made. Chevy Silverado, a new Silverado HD. Choose your own path with the number one best-selling retail full-size pickup and see where it takes you. Find new roads. It's Chevy truck season. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups or get 2250 total cash allowance on a 2023 Silverado with a turbo high output engine. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. To the tooth grinders, the ice chewers, and the bottle openers. You are welcome here. At Jefferson Dental and Orthodontics, we get it. Life happens, and your teeth take a beating. We're here to meet you where you are. Which means creating payment plans that work with your budget, whether you're insured or not. At Jefferson Dental and Orthodontics, all smiles are welcome here. Not just the perfect ones. Call 800-449-5058. I was driving home from church and a drunk driver smashed into my car and I was really scared because I had never been in an accident like that before. I'm really glad that I called Jim Adler because I was able to get a new car, have my medical expenses covered. I would definitely recommend calling Jim Adler just because it was so convenient, it was so easy. They take care of everything. I'm Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer, and you can count on me to fight for you. Call today, 713-777-4000. On my show, it's always 100% real. I mean, we have some moments that are unforgettable. You had 216,000 interactions, all romantic in nature. The truth hurts, but you still have to hear it. Karamo, today at 12 on CW39 Houston. Well, new releases are coming to streaming this weekend, so like usual, we had to bring in our friend Dean Richards to tell us all about it on his Coming to Home video segment. Check it out. You need to remember the past. 
to save the future. Our new streaming series this weekend, there's Citadel, about spies for a global rogue agency who had their memories wiped out after the agency was shut down. Now they're trying to remember their past, trying to save the world. Priyanka Chopra Jonas, Richard Madden, and Stanley Tucci co-star see it on Amazon Prime starting Friday. Elizabeth Heigl's drama series Firefly Lane wraps up its final season on Netflix starting tomorrow. And on Hulu, a young woman tries to track down who murdered her sister years before at a luxurious resort in the new mystery Saint X. I'm not going to be ignored, Dan. Classic thriller Fatal Attraction is reimagined as a new streaming series with Lizzie Kaplan and Joshua Jackson. Catch it on Paramount Plus starting on Sunday. Tomorrow on HBO Max, there's Elizabeth Olsen and Jesse Plemons in the true crime limited series Love and Death, retelling a real life case involving best friends, infidelity, and a married housewife accused of murder. And the comic adaptation Sweet Tooth about mutants with animal like features living in a post apocalyptic world returns for season two on Netflix starting tomorrow. Are you Peter Pan? Were you expecting someone else? For new movies this week, there's Disney's new live action take on the story of Neverland. See Peter Pan and Wendy on Disney Plus starting Friday. Also on Friday on Hulu, there's the thriller Clock, about a young woman who goes to extreme measures in an effort to fix her broken biological clock. For the kids, there's the new animated adaptation of some kids' classics. Frog and Toad comes to Apple TV Plus on Friday. And for laughs, stand-up John Mulaney walks you through his tumultuous personal life for his new stand-up special. John Mulaney, Baby J, is on Netflix now. A couple I want to see. Thanks so much, Dean. And guess what? That's a wrap on today's show. We will see you back here tomorrow morning, same place, same time, for more Houston Happens. It's Friday, so you know I'm taking the show on the road. Where am I going? Well, I guess you'll just have to tune in to find out. In the meantime, bye for now. Have a great rest of your Thursday, everybody. Friday Eve.